Beard's gone, so R.I.P. So you know why you're here. I know why I'm here. We're here to talk about the last episode of Tokyo Avengers, episode 24, that finished off season one. So let's get into it. A lot of spoilers coming up, so you've been warned. Let's do this. <clears throat> so Mikey comes out uh, introducing Chifuyu and Hanma. Him giving Hanma a chance to like talk and kind of air out Valhalla's grievances, that's a class act. And that would not have been reciprocated if Toman lost. And Valhalla had won. Kisaki, my man, not my man, <laughs> definitely not my man. This guy, he keeps taking the dubs. He's like Funimation, like just dub, 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 dub. You would, if you told me that he could time travel too, I would believe it. Because my man. Dub Master Flex. Takamichi, my my guy is having a whole panic attack over the sentient of uh, Kisaki. I get it, man. Before this, he was a little bit overreacting. He was a little bit OD. But now, I get it. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Chifuyu is a whole ride or die. My guy... He proved it twice this episode. This first time, you know, when he announces Takamichi. The second time, y'all know where I'm going with this, and I'll talk about that soon. Of course, of course, Takamichi cries when he's named First Division Commander. Like, it wouldn't have been the same if he didn't cry. My man's is a crybaby, the crybaby, crybaby hero. And I just want to remind everyone, I want to take this minute just to kind of slow things down and just take a minute to remind ourselves that these are high, middle school kids. I was at high school. No, they're not high school. They're middle school children running around Tokyo on fucking motorcycles and killing each other. Middle school kids. Okay, so present timeline, Yamagishi... Man's looking like a whole snack, man. That whole... He got buffed out. That scar he has. Nice. Nice. The whole Mizo mid, uh, mid gang. I like it. They look tough as hell. I hope that Akun doesn't show up. Because I want him to have like a nice, innocent life. I want him to go down the path of you know just being an innocent hairdresser but Takuya my man looking bad as fuck man I'd be scared to tell of him Chifuyu becomes relevant again right now and I want to say he's only been he's been introduced for like what five maybe six episodes but he already feels integral to the story and I think that's that's some great writing on the Mogaka's part. He made he brought in this new guy three fourths of the way in and now he feels like an OG. I respect that. So now we're in the present timeline. Pa is back in as a as a division commander. He's a bitch ass motherfucker. I hate that guy. Smiley's still there. That's a nice touch. I like Smiley. Um, Pe, he's just a creeper. So Mitsuya and Draken are missing. Shiva and Kokonoji, Inui are new. I guess that's going to be from the time that's coming, the arc that's coming with uh, the Black Dragons. I miss Mitsuya. He was low key, but he was. He was he was a cool guy, and Draken, R.I.P. Man. 
the new generation seems to be more gung ho. Um, they're more in your face, and they they pretty much said that they're the ones that are investing into the treasury funds, and the old guard are just sitting around, you know, on their fat asses. Um, I found that an interesting little tidbit. I like that. So all of Toman's cover businesses were raided by the cops, like literally right before this this scene in the future, in the present. I wonder. I wonder. We'll get into that. When when Kisaki brings a uh, Takamichi and Chifuyu aside and offers them a drink. And he's like, Chifuyu, you can sit down. And Chifuyu's like, no, I'd rather stand. That was badass. I think he knew deep down something was about to go up, was about to go down. At the same time, how did he not see that he and Takamichi were about to get poisoned? Were about to get drugged? Like, <laughs> that was the most obvious thing in the world. Kisaki did a good job though. He he made it believable before the drugging that, you know, he felt remorse and that he would own up to his mistakes. Takamichi is a big ass bitch for believing it, but I mean crybaby hero. Speaking of crybaby hero, we've seen so much violence in this show. We've seen Mikey get by Kazutora with a metal pipe so many times didn't make a squeak. Takamichi gets shot once in the leg and he's like crying his eyes out and he even blacks out. Like bruh. Man the fuck up. <laughs> this guy has like no defense skills at all. He put no no skill points in his defense trait. Nah. So he mentioned Draken. It's been about three months, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Three months in this current present timeline as opposed to the original present timeline uh, that the show started in. I think. And in that time, Draken was put to death. R.I.P. That's... I hope that that's not something that stays in the final timeline. Because I love Draken. That, in the OP, when Draken and Mikey turn around and smile at uh, Tagamichi, that's touching as hell, man. I want more of that. I want a future where they just... They're all friends and they just, you know, go out and beat other biker gangs up and... Just you know, have a nice life. That's what I want. It's a shonen, so that's the goal too, right? This whole episode was like a mafia movie. I mean, the clothes, the personalities, the dichotomy between the old gen and the new gen, like uh, Godfather Part 3. The clothing, the setting, the ambiance, everything. It was like a mafia movie, and I love it. The ending, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss twice. Amazing. Chifuyu, he was a hardliner. He was, he was body 2.0. He was body's son. And he kept the fight going. After 12 years, he kept the fight going against Kisaki. And he shipped off the cops. He did a taboo amongst delinquents. But he did it. And I respect that. And R.I.P. He gets... He gets killed like a rabid dog. It's sad. And I hope that this isn't the final... The final timeline. Kisaki shedding a tear when he... Uh, asked Takamichi if that's all he was. If, you know, his hero. That was... That was touching. I don't know if... If Kisaki was being honest or not when he did that, I choose to believe he was. And it's like, this guy's a monster across several timelines. 
Like, there's no future in which he's a good guy. And he's crying. And he's like, this is all you can do? My hero? This is it? You couldn't stop me? And then the ending. It reminds me of Cowboy Bebop. But the ending. The credits roll. And then you hear the gunshot. I've gotten some spoilers. Uh, some people I know have you know, told me about what's going to happen. And I've seen some stills of the manga. But. Damn, it's going to be so good. <laughs> um, I can't wait for season two. I can't wait to be waiting on Saturdays at 2.59 p.m. on Saturdays. Just like, come on, come out, come out, come out. New episode, come out. I can't wait for that. It's going to be lit. So, season one of Tokyo Avengers is over. Some highlights. Mikey. Being literally invincible. He hasn't lost a fight this entire time. I just... Oh my god. Baji being the oest of G's. He knew that Kisuke was a threat. And he just... He went after it. And he saved Takamichi's ass. By beating him up. Uh, when Takamichi... Uh, punched Kisuke. At his... Uh, Coronation as third division commander, he saved them from something worse. That was never acknowledged or stated in the show. But I I want to show props to that. Draken Bro, Draken was he was the man. We should all wish to find our own Draken. Also he was six foot at 7th or 8th grade that's kind of crazy especially in Japan where the average height is like 5'4 or something for an adult male so that's just my observation as a very short guy I thought that was interesting do it that way you will and Kazutora there was this meme if I find it I'll post it here where it's like it's a picture of Kazutora it's like, this has to be the dumbest motherfucking reason to become a villain. Kazutora had literally no reason to become a villain. But he's like, oh shit, I did something bad for in the name of somebody else? That means I have to kill that somebody else. What? And then that, that expands into Baji as well. Kazutora is a dumbass motherfucker. I mean... If you read the manga, you know what I'm not saying. What I want to say, but I'm, what I'm not saying. We'll leave it at that. But yeah, the show was the show was amazing. It's one of my it's one of my favorite new gen shonens. Um, I went into it thinking, oh, it's a knockoff of Raced. And I won't lie, I still think that to certain to a certain extent. To a certain extent, I still think that. But I like it. It was a good show. It it was a good show. It held its own. It was a worth it was worth the watch. I like it. So yeah. This is my review of episode twenty four and I guess the series in general kind of. And if I had to recommend you know, a number between one, one and ten. I'd say this was a solid eight. Yeah, it's a strong show. It has its soft moments. It has its hard moments. It has Mikey being an insane badass, even though he's not the MC. He's still the invincible major character. And yeah, I recommend it. I like it. I'm glad I watched it. I'm tempted, I'm so tempted to read the manga, because I want to keep going, but at the same time, I'm satisfied with the anime, so as long as the next season is announced relatively soon, hopefully for next year, I think I could wait, I think I can hold off, so yeah, Tokyo Avengers, episode 24, season finale, yeah, 
You know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. Just exit out of the video, out of the video already, because this hurts me. But please like and subscribe. I'm a small YouTube channel. I want to grow. I want to keep talking about anime. So yeah, I can subscribe. Hopefully one day I won't have to say that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.